an incredible rescue has unfolded off the coast of Perth. Check it out, emergency crews racing to help a young man stranded on a rock ledge on Karnak Island yesterday. The operation requiring three boats, a chopper and one very brave diver. Yeah, incredible stuff. Remarkably, the young man escaped uninjured. Whoa. And the crew involved, diver Emile Mercier and air crew member Kristen Young, join us live now from Perth. Oh, you are heroes. We are so glad you've joined us this morning. What an incredible result yesterday. Morning, guys. Thank Morning. you. You must be uh, pretty delighted about what, what about when you see the images, Emil? Uh, you go into the water, all kinds of logistical difficulties for you, um, on the rocks and everything. Uh, just talk us through it from your perspective. Um, yeah, it was. we tried to find the best way in um, to get to this oh. young fellow. Um, it was, yeah, got knocked around a bit by the swell there. That kind of caught me off guard, but managed to get back up on my feet and uh, coax him down from where he'd... Uh, positioned himself. He didn't really want to get moving, which is fair enough. I probably after watching me get put up against the rocks, but uh, yeah, managed to convince him to come down with me, and we, as gracefully as possible, got back in the water. I mean, Emil, uh, we're just looking at yeah, those. So happy with the outcome. Those images now. I mean, one wrong move, and this could have turned very differently. Oh, there was enough of us around. Um, I felt quite comfortable with the support available. Um, yeah, there was that kind of lifeline sent to me by one of the rescue boats uh, that let me get out of that situation. So, Kristen, yeah, I'm uh, felt in, in control. Kristen, from your perspective, um, in the coordination of the, this rescue, again, logistical issues, but when you saw Emil getting um, banged up a bit on the rocks, um, how did you view it? Uh, I guess it wasn't nice to see your staff, uh, your co fellow colleague being thrown around like that on the rocks, um, but I know that he's very capable in what he does and it's what we train for. Um, and it's nice to see that we can put our training to good use and get a happy outcome at the end of the day. And, the, and the, you, you responded in such quick time to an incident like this. I mean, I, you, I can't imagine you would see this kind of stuff often. No, it was uh, good timing for us. We were out on our um, daily patrol in the morning and uh, heard it unfolding over the um, marine radio. Uh, so it offered our assistance to uh, water police, uh, which they accepted. So we were able to get within the area within uh, about six minutes. Uh, it was shortly after the first um, rescue vessel arrived. So it was just, um, yeah, good timing Jesus. by all, all parties. So the young fellow, what, what happened to him? He, he got um, knocked out of a boat or something, I read. Yeah, I believe so. We, I guess we were told after the fact that uh, he potentially fell uh, overboard. Um, yeah, not quite sure where or how he got himself perched up onto the ledge, but mm. I guess he found the safest location he could at the time. Uh, and then fellow uh, people on boats kind of called it in once they saw him there, and then, yeah, everything got mobilised. Emil, you got any war wounds? <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too pretty getting up uh, against those rocks. Um, I think I came off a bit worse than the guy we were going in for. Uh, but, no, I'm all good. Just a few cuts and bruises. And what about the family of uh, the, this, this young fellow when you um, reunited him with his family? Um, what was that moment like? Uh, I was uh, whisked away pretty quickly because I needed to be back on shift. Um, for the remainder of the day, but Did you? from what we heard, um, his friends met him uh, back at the boat harbour and they were all very relieved and thankful for the efforts by everyone to get him back, back to shore safely. So hang on a second, you're a national <laughs> hero, you banged up on the rocks, um, you're lucky to be alive and then you have to go back on shift. Straight back out again. <laughs> yeah, yeah back, back, over to, back over to base and ready for... Turn um, out. Next, another call out or for the afternoon patrol. Oh, Hopefully wow. the rest of the afternoon was uneventful for you. Yeah, it was, thankfully. <laughs> That's a uh, well done, you guys. I mean, it's a big deal what you do every day. Yeah, and, and we don't often see it in, in person like that and see the vision of it um, in person. Incredible work and good on you for doing what you do. We appreciate it. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?